Hey guys, Chris here from My Fine EMS Training. We're going to go through surgical crike. What I'm going to do is this one here. On this one, I'm going to do a non bleeding. So I'm going to take our tape, put it over top. It makes a nice cricothyroid membrane. And you can find that tape in the show notes. Put that on top. Put the skin over top. And now you can actually practice that landmarking that we have there. So we get our scalpel out. We have our bougie. Our tube, just like we would be prepared, plan C for us, put it on the patient's chest. So if you're unable to gain uh, airway access, you go right to plan C. I'm a righty, so I'm on the patient's right. You're doing this, find the thyroid cartilage, use your pointer finger to go down and find the valley. Mountain one, mountain two, find the valley, I've got it. Landmark it with my non-dominant finger. Pull my scalpel out. Scalpel's exposed. Cut down and cut across. Now I hold that hole with my finger, close my scalpel, pull my bougie out, bougie in, guide it down. So my bougie's in. I have a second I can breathe. And I take my 6O tube, guide it over my bougie. If you have a partner, have you would hold the bougie, maintain that, place the tube through. Tube through until the line's gone. Fill your pilot and bag your patient using cabinography. This is a Pulmodyne BBM, I have it set to 10 breaths a minute. In this instance, we could dial over and go unrestricted. If we want to do a blood pack, we want a bloody one, take one of the blood packs, put it over top, reuse another section right here. Gather our items back, down, cut, and now I'm getting blood. So now it gets the nastiness. If you want, you can put it under pressure too. So you can pinch around it so it squirts up. I have this uh, foam here, both so that the stuff doesn't slide, but also that way uh, it kind of absorbs the nastiness. So you can use that blood there. You can make it more liquid. We have one that's more liquid. This one's a little more gooey. This one's a little more liquid. So I'll show you what that looks like. We cut, there's your nastiness. So you take this and remember these packs kind of create that cricothyroid membrane landmark down there you go there's the nice nasties we have all three of these options we did not make them so we did not create the 3d print but we do have for a printing fee them on our website where you can purchase them we'll sell pieces of skin and blood packs as well. As always, if you have any questions, hit us up at info at lifelineemstraining.com. We hope you have a great day.